Okay, now for the stuff that you guys really wanted to see. I use uh, Exacto here as a pointer. Um, first thing we got here is we got a single cell lipo. Uh, this particular one happens to be a 240 milliamp hour. If I put that on my particular design on these blades, that would probably yield me almost three hours of flying time on a single charge. Uh, I actually prefer to go to a little lighter battery. Here's one that's been out of its package for a while. Notice the safety tape on there so it doesn't short out against the items on the workbench. So this one actually happens to be an 80 milliamp hour. Still 80 milliamp for my setup with four LEDs as I'm going to show you how to build on this. It'll get you about 45 minutes of flight time. Um, next item that we're going to have on our blades is we're going to have a charging receptacle. And I strongly suggest you guys follow the MS Composite pinout on this. That way if your buddy has an MS Composite charger or if you want to just go out and buy the MS Composite charger, said little device right here, if you make their pinout the same, well, what do you know, it slips right in. And if you look at this, the way it ends up working out is the outside pin is negative, the center pin is positive, and if it was actually an MS Knight or MS Composite blade, this would be the negative connecting to the LED. So when you put your, in their case, they use a jumper, we're going to use a switch, but they put the jumper across the two outside, you're taking negative to negative with the positive in between, so that's how they turn theirs on and off. But it also gives you the ability that should you plug the charger in, backwards you're not going to damage anything so we have what they call a SIP single inline package it's a three pin it's the digi key part number that I've got attached next is a very small on off switch I found at Radio Shack of all places it is just cool keen and groovy when you put this on there you'll end up seeing it to the blade but you'll end up bending these pins down as you fold these over, they just happen to meet up perfectly in line with the others. You touch it with a soldering iron, and now you've put a little redundancy because this is what they call a uh, double pull, double throw. So it uh, gives you some redundancy when you connect those together. So, switches from Radio Shack. Next item, we'll get the big stuff out of the way. You want to get some heat shrink? Uh, this will actually get wrapped around the blade on the root to help hold your components in place. If I can get this to open up and show you. Sometimes easier said than done. So you can see I'm slipping this over the root of the blade and the idea is when we hit that with the gun that's going to uh, help us keep our battery in place. So in the case of this blade you can see I use a piece of black if you got black available from your hobby shop or your electrical supply shop, that's fine too. Another item that we need is copper tape. Now this comes from the stained glass world. And what we end up doing is, well actually let me explain it real quick. Um, this is what the package looks like. I have the link on here of where I've got it from. It's not very expensive. This particular package was about eight bucks and it's for a mere 36 yards. So if you figure you use about a yard per blade, that's 36 blades. Um, you can keep yourself in business for a long time with uh, just eight bucks of this material. And what I end up doing with this stuff is I will lay it down on a mat and I will tape it down and I will come back in with a straight edge and I will cut in half. That way it's not as thick because this is just about a quarter of an inch. So we'll take it a little narrower. Next item, excuse me while I reach over my shoulder. Okay, the next item can't be found. <laughs> next item is servo tape. Uh, you want to use some servo tape to actually put between the battery and the blade down here. That just helps to hold that battery in place. Uh, gives it a little bit of padding, uh, but uh, servo tape is underneath the battery. Now for the real cool stuff. This is what you stay up late for at night. All right. When we buy these components, 
Um, I'm using what they call an 0805 surface mount device package. And they are tiny and they come in what they call tape and reel. Uh, this thing is normally on a reel that's you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 components long. It gets loaded into a machine and then it gets picked in place and stuck on a circuit board. Well, DigiKey, on a lot of their components, uh, they'll charge you a few cents more, actually a, a few, a good few pennies more, um, but you can buy them in, in hand cut sections. So that's what we've done here. This happens to be resistors, this happens to be LEDs. LEDs of a different color, LEDs yet of a different color. So let's see these devices with the naked eye, all right? Well, they've been in the view of the camera the entire time. They're right down here next to the dime. See that black thing? That's a resistor. See that thing? That's a blue LED. See that? That's a red LED. There's a green LED. There's a half watt LED just for reference of how small we're working with here. there you go. So one thing I mentioned on the voltmeter, one thing that's nice to have is a diode check function. And I'll show it to you right here. So I've got my meter in diode check and I've already lined this up for the dog and pony show so I don't have to guess. You know you can put it through a resistor all day long and it's not going to do anything for you. But if you put it on LED, if you have your meter on the right mode, what do you know? If I spin this thing around, no light. I spin it back around the correct way, it lights up. There's the red, there's the blue. The other thing to note on these devices is what's on the back side. See if we can't get one of these to flip over. Come in on this. It's hard to see there's a green arrow. The green arrow is showing you what direction the current flows through the device. But like I said, you can also check that with your voltmeter. So basically you find out which is your positive and which is your negative. Because LED stands for light emitting diode. All diodes are essentially one-way valves for electricity. They let it pass one direction, but not the other. All right, that's enough to make you real dangerous, right? I'm going to show you one more thing before you get all run away before I finish the rest of this video series off. Um, this is one of the big things that you hear guys say, well, I built a set of night blades, but they only stay lit. The battery only stays charged for five minutes or ten minutes or you know, the battery's always dead. Don't They don't work very well. Well, I mentioned clear coat. The reason why I mentioned clear coat is most of our carbon fiber blades along this leading edge are conductive. There is exposed carbon fiber, which is a nice conductor of electricity. So if we look at our blade, we wrap one of the terminals, the battery, right across the front of it. Then as we come down the blade, we're wrapping our other terminals right across that leading edge again, right across that exposed carbon fiber. So basically what we end up doing is we end up shorting out our battery. So we need to insulate this first. When I take a set of blades, first thing I do is lightly sand the entire blade because I'm going to put clear coat on this. But I'll lightly sand the entire thing. And I'll come back in and I will take the airbrush and I will shoot a nice thick bead of clear right down the entire leading edge of the blade. And I'll let that sit overnight and cure in the booth. Then the next day you can come down, lay up your components, test it, glue them in place, solder them, all that stuff, and finish the build. So that's the biggest thing to watch out for. There is a conductive exposed carbon fiber all the way down that leading edge and that will get you every time so don't go well, I suppose you can go run off ahead of me here and finish these because it may be another week or two before I get the time to finish this these of this video series off till then